little troll lovers. I'm Nellie and today I'm going to make trolls mold and paint plaster activities. And don't worry, I'm a kid and I have kid skills. So let's see what's inside of this trolls box. There I go. It includes four plaster mix packets, four design molds, and in this packet there is a mixing stick, a pair of gloves, and, pro and a protective mask. And you have acrylic paint, and a paintbrush and instructions, which is right here. Okay, now uh, I'm going to be a doctor. And I have this protective mask, and I have a mixing stick, and I have these pair of gloves. And now I'm gonna put it all on, except the mixing stick. I'm going to cut this open. Now I'm going to put it in. I'm doubling it because I wanted to do both characters at the same time. <laughs> now I'm going to pour the water in. It should be like pudding. You should do it super fast because it might dry. Now I can pour it into this, into the mold, and then later I will have to top it so there will no, there won't be any air bubbles. Okay, now I'm going to put the consistency into the mold. So now I'm putting on the mask thing again. Okay. Poppy's um my favorite character. Cause well I really like her. You should let the mold dry for minimum for 45 minutes. Look at that mess! A big, big mess. It's from these characters. Oh, a big, big mess. Ding, 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 ding. So we waited more than 45 minutes. And now I'm going to take the troll out of the mold. This is gonna be a bit hard. I almost got it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Look at its shiny butt. Well, my guy diamond's finished. Now, I have to take off these parts. <laughs> okay. I don't want to break it. It 
And here are all my trolls characters. Ta-da! And this is Guy Diamond. Ta-da! That was Poppy. And that was DJ Suki. But the sad news are that Cooper wasn't saved because he was really he was really destroyed. I feel so bad for Cooper. I really liked Cooper. But this is what he looks like on the box. And here are some advices at the end. Um, don't do it yourself if you're a kid. Use your parents' help because it's a very risky project. If you want to paint it just like this, then you definitely need your parents' help. I started painting this and then I needed my mom's help. Fill your plaster all the way up to the top of the mold. If you don't fill it all the way up to the mold, then this is what will happen. Your two legs would get broken maybe, or something would start breaking on your, on the bottom. When you have it, and when uh, it's complete all the way at the top, this is what it would look like. It would have this bottom thing and it could stand on the surface, like this. If you wanna use your same bowl, then you should wash it uh, till it's not completely dry. Keep a little bit of your plaster so you can fill in the parts where your troll is missing stuff, like if you don't have a nose for your troll. If your troll is broken apart, then use hot glue. It will fix it right up. A trash bin is your best friend because it's a very messy job. So you can have your trash can by your side and then you can, you, and when you're like making your trolls, you can just do that and then it will fall into the trash bin. If you prefer, you can use your own brushes because the brush that comes in the kit you can't really put a lot of details to it. If you decide to do this project, good luck! Comment down below if you made all your Trolls characters. I hope you've seen the Trolls movie already. Bye bye Thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye-bye! Beep boop bop! Bye-bye!